um, aviation law, they and they require you to take what I amount to nothing short of a, a bar exam in that topic. W- what I do primarily is plaintiff's work that involves, um, you know, aircraft, any kind of aircraft. That could be, uh, you know, <clears throat> a wrongful death case, injury, could involve the military, could involve product liability. But that's just a small portion of what aviation law under board certification entails. It's got, you know, when they hand you, when you decide after you you have to have a certain amount of experience and, a, you know, handle a certain amount of cases for certain, and you've got to be at least practicing in the state, I think, for five years. The criteria are on the Florida Bar's website. But they give you sort of an outline of what you're responsible for knowing as part of this exam. And I think uh, what I do is only – what I do in everyday practice is only one part of like eight or nine topics. So you got to learn space law. you got to learn airport use. you got to learn uh, you know, pilot enforcement actions, like where basically a pilot does something wrong and they have certain rights to defend themselves if the FAA wants to revoke their license. Um, there are, you know, buying and selling aircraft. There's a whole other, you know, type of law that deals with that. Uh, you know, airspace. I mean, there's just a a ton of stuff. What I thought was really kind of interesting and is, and is really an up and coming topic that I don't really do, but learned about as part of that was the whole space law, because Florida actually has a whole legal, uh, and, you know, basically part of the state which is like the Space Coast. Like I mean, Satellite that, Beach and that area. Yeah, I mean, that's a whole that's a whole legal entity that that's created to to deal with space. And now that you've got, you know, all these private companies getting into that that field, it's very interesting just hearing the amount of insurance they have to have to send an aircraft into space is, bo- is mind-boggling. Yeah. Um, and I almost slipped there because Blaze of Glory was on last night, and uh, Will Ferrell said mind-boggling. <laughs> And then the guy's like, did you say mind bottling? And he goes, yeah, you know, when your thoughts are all crazy, like they're in a bottle and you just got to bottle them up. So anyway, so I'm going to say mind bottling. But nevertheless, uh, the, the space law is like, so I thought that was real interesting to learn. But I mean, some of the stuff that's, it's very dry is like the national, um, you know, the, I think it's the NRL, the national or NR, whatever the National Railroad Act is that basically deals with how you, um, you know, the contracts with rail workers, airline workers, unions, all that stuff, and how the even the president gets involved in that. So a lot, it's very hard to learn a lot of that stuff from a book. So it's a really difficult exam. Uh, you also have to understand you've got to learn about NTSB investigations. And, you know, if, and we deal with that a lot because anytime there's an accident in the United States, the NTSB is charged with investigating it. So they'll be on the scene pretty early the FAA plays a role in that because obviously aviation accidents go hand in hand with, you know, air traffic controllers and the radar um, information that they, you know, that the the FAA has for, for accidents. Um, <clears throat> so it deals with all those different types of law. You take this exam that's, like I said, it's basically a bar.